in a little corner of Berlin, time stops a while in this extraordinary garden built long ago with row upon row of Indian roses. There's no problem of colonialism, there's no, uh, there are no this deep uh, commercial interests, but there's really an interest in Indian culture, very deep interest in Indian culture. And I think this makes this relationship so special. Max Müller, perhaps till date, is the most well-known, loved and respected German in India, having devoted his entire life in trying to understand India and help the world understand her. Ironically, he never actually set foot upon the land that he revered so deeply. When you come from Europe to India, you see people who look like people from the, uh, maybe, 500 years ago and then you see people who look like from the 50s or 40s, 30s, 20s till now you have a, a completely strange relation to time when you, you uh, move through India. Because to have people from the Stone Age up the satellites generation with so many different languages, cultures, rich and poor this normally blasts a nation. And this democracy is strong enough to continue and to improve their daily performances. These women from village Supe in India may not understand the intricacies of relations between nations involved as they are in improving their and their children's today for a better future. Having been helped to help themselves, by a joint program between the governments of India and Germany, they are an ideal example of an alternative path of development which is also sustainable. No matter where, no matter how, whenever two individuals meet who belong to two different parts of this world, then each time two worlds come face to face, two images of the world come together. And then, However fleetingly, but surely, the world moves closer. And for a moment in time, two worlds meet to become one. People from two different countries, cultures, having different work styles, often believed to be diametrically opposite, by working successfully together have proved that quality is not something that can be defined by geography alone.